Well, back here at home, the jury in the McHale Bowers murder trial has reached an impasse, forcing the judge to declare a mistrial in this case. Bowers is accused of shooting and killing her longtime boyfriend and Jay's Place chef Ray Ingram back in 2017. 23 ABC's Veronica Morley joins us live, for, or excuse me, joins us in house tonight with more on that decision. Veronica. Good evening, Jess. When I spoke to the family of Mikhail Bowers today, they said they were frustrated by the jury's inability to reach a decision. But the attorneys in this case tell me that this is all part of the process. Today, the judge said he will set a new trial date for March 16th. Bowers is charged with the first degree murder of her boyfriend of 25 years, Ray Ingram. The prosecution arguing that Bowers killed Ingram in a fit of rage over his ongoing infidelity. The defense, however, said this case is one of self-defense and that Bowers shot Ingram after he chased her while screaming, I'm going to kill you. This mistrial coming less than a year after a jury deadlocked in Bowers' first trial, defense attorney David Torres said he thinks the jury in this case had a difficult time understanding some of the key issues in this trial. So I believe that this is a case from a, a di difficult human perspective for people to understand. And again, if you tried this 10 times, you could probably hang another 10 times, in, but in various different ways. After today's proceedings, the attorneys got the chance to speak to the jurors and see why they had a difficult time coming to an agreement. The prosecution saying they plan to evaluate that feedback as they move into this third trial. I think that um, in every case, uh, the jury and both parties want to uh, reach a verdict, and I, I think that was the case in this case, and this is just part of the process, and it happens, and we respect that. We respect the work that they did, and uh, we go forward. Both sides in this trial said they believe the jury worked hard to try to come to an agreement. Torres saying that he believes jury selection will remain to be one of the biggest obstacles as this returns to court. The judge said this trial in this trial, six jurors voted for voluntary manslaughter, four voted for second degree murder, one voted for involuntary manslaughter, and one juror voted not guilty. This case will go back to the beginning with a new trial date set for March 16th, and Bowers is expected back in court for a readiness hearing on March 6th. In studio, Veronica Morley, 23ABC, connecting you.